Straight people of Reddit, what questions do you have for the LGBT community? Gay men, how do you feel about your partners having bigger penises than you? Is it a turn on or is there envy? Not specifically about penises, but in a same gender relationship, it can be easier to feel envy about how the other person looks or how accepting their family is, etc. Like my SO has better muscle definition than I do, despite them not really aiming for or desiring it. It can feel like a competition because you're both aiming for the same thing, whereas that's less common in straight relationships. What's on the gay agenda for today? Mostly playing Minecraft. Are there straight jokes? Straight people use jokes about being gay all the time, especially guys. The first time I heard a gay guy refer to straight people as breeders, I lost my shit. Never have I ever been more curious about how lesbians have sex until I watched some lesbian stand-up comics state that how lesbians have sex is nothing like in porn. They don't scissor and it will forever remain a mystery. Don't get me wrong, I generally don't give a shit about how all the people have sex, their kinks, etc. It just is not a concern I ever thought about. But when she said that, I had a, wait, what moment ever since. What are the creepy or offensive things that well-meaning non-LGBT people say? As a bi girl, so which one of us, gesturing at a group of mainly straight friends, would be your type? What are you asking here? If I'm interested in effing or romancing one of my friends? If they should feel threatened? If it's a genuine, do you like a brunette, blonde, ginger? And if that's the case, why not frame it that way? It's like a effing predator when you ask like that. Yeah, I know you're into that whole LGBT stuff. What? what? What does that even mean? What's LGBT stuff? Rights? Acknowledgement? Discussions? Protection? Yowie fanfics? What do, or did, you need from your mom? Mom of a transgender. I do my best to support him and want to learn to do better. If he's okay with it, help him navigate school administrative stuff, read preferred name, bathrooms, etc. If you have doubts or fears or grief, that's okay, but don't let him see. Be prepared to issue ultimatums to unaccepting friends, neighbors, or relatives. How come it's common for gay men to befriend straight women, but it's uncommon for a butch lesbian to befriend straight men? I'm gay and my sister's a lesbian. My female friends have never requested to watch my husband and I have sex. Straight men are always asking my sister if they can watch my sister and her wife have sex. There's your answer. If you're trans, is it okay to ask what gender you identify as? As a trans individual, yes. I'd rather the question if you aren't sure. Guessing could get messy. Is it okay to not understand all the different qualifiers and instead just support equal treatment of people as a whole and therefore support LGBTQ issues as a default? Because I don't think I'll ever understand what it's like to be pansexual or trans, but I do consider myself supportive of all walks of life. I don't understand half the flags, symbols, sexualities, and genders in the community. I'm by myself. But hey, as long as they're not harmful, they have a right to a good life. I've been fortunate enough to have quite a few close friends who were gay in my lifetime, so I've got no how do things work kind of questions that haven't been answered. However, one of my favorites that I always ask when we're in the process of becoming friends. If you're around my age, mid-30s, and a gay guy, did you first realize you might be gay when watching the volleyball scene in Top Gun? And if not, why are you lying to me about when you first realized you were gay? I've never seen Top Gun, but I realized I was gay when I noticed that porn was much better when the dude was hot. One Google search for hot guys having sex later... Why are you gay? Woke up one day and dick sounded tasty. As a father of a LGBTQ daughter, how do I not rage at people who oppose the fact that my daughter exists? Lesbian here. You can have a little rage, as a treat. Seriously though, this comment made me smile. You seem like a wonderful dad. You don't have to hold in your anger at people who are pissed at your daughter for simply existing. Take the protective father stereotype and use it for good. I heard that trans people couldn't have biological children. I tried to look it up to see if it was true, but I found varying responses. I don't mean to offend or bring up anything painful, I was just wondering if the statement is accurate. It depends on to what degree someone has physically transitioned. If a person has had a full gender confirmation surgery, they no longer have the ability to carry or conceive a biological child. Those still could do so if they've frozen eggs or sperm beforehand and use a surrogate. If they've used hormones to transition, it's possible, but difficult. I believe it's more easy for a trans man to conceive than a trans woman. If they've socially transitioned or used blockers, the chances are they should biologically still be able to have a child. Though this will depend on the individual, since of course not every person, regardless of their cis transgender, will be able to conceive or carry a child. Is the word dude a good non-binary pronoun? A lot of DMAB people are uncomfortable with it, especially trans ladies. Folks is generally accepted, pal might work, and I've seen some people propose bringing back cats as an alternative to dudes, guys, i.e. What are you cats up to? Though personally, I've just switched to using y'all. 
For gay men, the stereotypical gay accent, fully aware it's not everyone, do you feel it comes natural to you or do you prefer to talk that way? It's not just a lisp you're talking about, it's an entire way of speaking. Some gay men speak the way women speak, like very girly way of speaking. I'd be curious to the answer to this question as well. Edit, Jonathan Van Ness from Queer Eye. It's not just a lisp. Is kissing the boys before bedtime gay? Only if you forget to say no homo. Bro, loving your boys is nothing to be ashamed of. How does gaydar work? How reliable is it? And specifically for men, do you still like boobs? I've only known a few gay men and they all liked boobs, so I'm wondering if boobs are just fun, no matter what. Gay man here, I find boobs fun to look at and play with, but my dick does nothing. There's definitely some weird attraction to them, but it doesn't go as far as turning me on. Shit's weird, yo. As for gaydar, it usually picking up on voice inflection, some comment or body language. Sometimes it's just catching them staring at your dick through your jeans. What is the difference between pansexual and bisexual? I always sound like a dick when I discuss this, it always sounds like a deluxe bisexual, a meaningless term to feel special. You do what you want as long as you're not hurting anyone, I'm just trying to understand it. In practice, there is virtually no difference. Pansexual has been adopted because bisexual presumes only two genders of attraction, and pansexual leaves the door open for other possibilities. Technically, there may be people who agree with pansexual being an appropriate term for people who are attracted to all genders, who also say that they are bisexual because their sexuality is limited to two specific genders, and not necessarily male and female either. I know plenty of non-binary people who use bi without worrying about an implication about the number of genders. What did you wish you knew as a teenager that you know now? There are so many more gay people in this world than statistics show, because many people are either still in the closet or don't come out as gay on any form or senses. What if I fall in love with a gay man? Depends. If you're a girl, sorry, you're out of luck. Give it time, and you'll move on. If you're a guy, go for it. To all the lesbian couples, how do you feel about your relationships being over-sexualized? It's irritating. On one hand, people sexualize the shit out of lesbian couples, but on the other, they put down same-sex couples as an abomination, sin, disgusting, etc. And the overlap of the two is surprising. Me and my GF just want to exist the same as everyone else. What constitutes losing your virginity for lesbians? I was having a discussion with my daughter last night and we couldn't decide a good answer for her. For background, she's a 16 year old who came out to us last summer as asexual or panromantic. She wants to be able to define that line for herself. I wanna help her, but this is way out of my wheelhouse. Virginity is really a social construct. There's no true definition of virginity. Some people count it as a dick getting put into you, others count it as your first kiss or first sexual thought. It all depends on your own definition of virginity and what values are with it. Honest question for the trans community. I learned about some queer studies theories, a major part of which was the queering of gender. Basically, that gender is a construct we created and may not even need at all. I know a few people who decided to identify as non-binary because they're tired of having only two options. Does this ideology conflict with trans ideology? For trans people, when you were thinking about transitioning, did the idea of, maybe I don't need to choose a gender at all, come up? Why or why not? Well, I'm non-binary, and I personally think that gender as we know it is a useless social construct that I don't need to conform to. But gender identity and the existence of gender is very important to some people, so I'll always respect that. It all comes down to who you ask, really. I wouldn't want to abolish gender because it matters a lot to some people, but it just doesn't work for me personally. I'm more for the bastardization of gender. F it. Be male, be female, be both, be neither. Have a gender identity that can only be conveyed through slam poetry or a sick drawing of a dragon or swarm of bees, who cares? I started working from home full-time in February, and my GF and I didn't exactly have the most social lives before that, so the number of people I know who aren't cis is very small. What's the best way for me to be an ally without pandering or trying to tokenize the LGBTQ plus community? Treat us like normal people. Really, be curious, ask questions, respect pronouns and gender identity, and do your research. Go to Pride, support your LGBTQ friends, put your pronouns in your social media bio, ask your LGBT friends what they think you can do. Gay dudes, when participating in some bum fun, does the catcher also get a boner and gum? Obviously, he's getting lots of pleasure from being effed, but having a hard time imagining a guy receiving dick whilst also supporting a full tea cake. It doesn't seem like it would work. Doesn't your back door see shut when you get a rock on? 
it really depends. I've effed a lot of guys who were rock hard the whole time without touching themselves. I've effed guys who were soft, but moaning like they were in heat the whole time. Sometimes when I get effed, I want to jerk off, because the prostate stimulation feels like it's supercharging my dick. Other times I ignore my cock and just focus on my hole. Coming hands-free is pretty difficult. It takes a lot of mental stimulation. I've only been in that headspace once, but it was pretty unbelievable. I'm not straight, but I've always wanted to ask a trans person what they mean when they say they feel like a man or a woman. I guess it's probably not entirely tangible, but I've always found it intriguing. Imagine waking up every day of your life feeling like something's wrong. You're perfectly healthy, your life is great, but there's something wrong, you just don't know what. The feeling gets worse when you look at yourself in the mirror or see your body. It gets even worse when puberty starts and you watch your body change and you hate it, but you don't know why. There's just something wrong. The feeling sometimes gets better when you look at other people of the opposite sex. For me, girls. Sometimes it gets worse and you get frustrated for no reason. Maybe you have a crush on one of those girls. Maybe you just want some attention from them. But then, you had a crush on one of them. There should be some happiness. There just isn't. Never. Your life is great, but you're miserable and you can't figure out why. Then one day, a random thought occurs. I wish I were a girl. Then you understand what was wrong with you all your life. 